Good morning. So, we have a very busy day today. We're meeting Jay for coffee, then Jade for coffee, then Natalie for coffee, and then we have drinks later on. So, meeting last week for coffee before, so we have to sort out this great week. We've made it to McKenzie's, but <laughs> uh, it's not open for an hour because these two ticks came to town at nine o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Precisely. Precisely. That's, that's what we want. And bo both of us are wearing shorts. You have to uh, although it is July, it's freezing. It is. For those people who are not from Dublin, this is Grand yeah, Canal, Loki. Grand Canal Dock. <laughs> yeah, you're Loki. This is Grand Canal Dock. This is the Borgosh Energy Theatre. Uh, which one is the marker? This one That's here the is, the, is the marker hotel, it's a really nice hotel. I've never said anything. Uh, I've never said anything either. I did go to an espresso event on the rooftop though. And they were like doing uh, this yoga thing. And in the invite it said light yoga. And then we got there and your one said, ha, fuck you. <laughs> this is not going to be light yoga. And I was sweating bullets, really? man. It was, it was probably the most intense workout I've ever done in my entire life. Yoga. I was in yoga, I was in bits. She's like putting your leg up like like this, like leg up like all the way behind here, and then she'd come up behind you and she'd like grab your leg and like, no, you got more, you got more, and she's like lifting it right up, I was in bits. Nine o'clock, I think. Oh, no for her. No for her. It's just gone. Oh my god, when we're playing cricket, one of the brands were called um, uh, Oral. Oral? Wait, or, like, oral. It wasn't, spe it wasn't spelled that. oral, but it was pronounced oral. So yeah, uh, could could probably think of a rebrand. They, yeah, the sign there says open. What have you got? Porridge bowl, toasties, coffee, yeah. all my stuff. eggs, I'm sweet. I'm in it. Uh, nut butter. It is. Bj, what are we thinking? Right. Um, I think I might go for. I'm obviously gonna go for the caramel latte, regular milk, none of that weird shit. Do you get like oat in your milk? No, just normal milk. Yeah, that's always. Just they'll be friends. Do they have the caramel pumps? Do you know? I you just ask for it. Surely they have to. Yeah. yeah syrup. Add, add syrup there down the bottom. So I tell you. Oh yeah. Added. So um, Jay didn't mention that this was a date, but this is this is very. All we need this now is, is very. This is very date aesthetic. Um. Yeah. Oh. Man, this is nice. This is grand. Like Jay living his like Jay is living his life in there. I feel like I'm in a Zara. <laughs> Zara. <laughs> now, so we had to do this all again because I didn't turn on the mics. Jay, verdict on the coffee. Yeah, listen, it was alright. Like it wasn't it was it wasn't the best coffee I've ever had, but it wasn't the worst coffee I've ever had. Do I think it was worth eight euro for two caramel lattes? No, I don't think so. I don't think it was that. I don't think it'll be back. Um but it wasn't the worst. Do you know what I mean? I definitely yeah. enjoyed it. It was, a, it was a nice environment as well. Like the it was an odd idea. Now I have to like, say the interior of the place is, is actually lovely and it'd be nice to do a bit of walking. Do you know what I mean? I'd yeah. say, if I went back again, I'd probably uh, just get a water or something. Like just get a water. Yeah, but we also looked at the breakfast menu there and not gonna lie, it looked like a lot of pony. Yeah, I, I also said like egg, Toastier or something yeah, like that. Toastier, Can like you not just, just say egg, eggs egg on toast? toast like, like why make egg on toast try just fancy? Not. Just say eggs on toast. What the hell is a toastier or whatever? Just eggs on toast. So now we're going back to McKenzie's, which was closed when we went there this morning. We're gonna get breakfast there. <laughs> no more coffee. And no, no more coffee because one of us will shit ourselves. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah. Got a bit of a uh, bit of. I need a fucking haircut, man. I look like a werewolf. <laughs> Look like a werewolf. Yeah. You've got really mad fluffy hair though. Yeah, I know. My bab is away, like he's away the last two weeks and I'm like, I need to do something because I don't want to cheat on my barber. Never, that's the worst mistake you can ever do is cheat on a barber. Do not cheat on your barber. On your barber and your tailor, do not cheat on either of those. Never, ever, ever. Yeah. ever. Or your girlfriend for that <laughs> <laughs> No, don't do that either. Just don't cheat they in general. Always find out, like, don't ever do but, that. Um, that's the one piece of advice I was given. They always find out. Always. So Mothers and girlfriends, yes. they find out everything. Always. Um, That's a nice bit of fucking sun there. Oh. Yeah, because my exposure is losing its shit right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See that? No. The fucking board shit right in front of us. I had a big top. But yeah, I didn't know what it was though. <laughs> but um, yeah, how dare Jay's barber go on holiday? How dare he take time off? Imagine work. taking time. Imagine off taking. Fun, like. Imagine taking time for yourself. Oh, man. 
I'll say how hard I'm in this business have a horrible time because I'm here out here growing my hair out like blade and Harry Styles. Um, oh, here, look. Yeah. You're gonna have to look after it. No. Unless it gets long enough that you can tie up around. Oh no, we're gonna be doing that. So. I'm not fucking blading. Some out pirate ship. <laughs> Some out pirate ship. Fucking Jack Barrow. So. That'd be a nice shot there, isn't it? Yeah, with the, with the long lens. In the middle of that. In the middle of the road. I'm telling you. Telling you. So, we're just at Mackenzie's here I now. I really hope this is over. So. It said 10 o'clock. It looks like the light is on. 58. They turned the light on, so we yeah, have we, we might have. Oh yeah, the light wasn't on. When no, we, talking, we, right? have, we might have to wait two minutes, but um, and then wait for the pans to get fired up. Yeah, I'm actually buzzing. I can't wait. I've had breakfast here once before. Oh, oh, from Dublin. I hear place. Try out Mackenzie's because it's actually not bad at all. So this place. Yeah, there's people in here. Yeah. Okay, so it's open. Uh, okay. Mackenzie's for breakfast, but no more coffee. I'm gonna get a Coke Zero. Yeah, I'm gonna get an orange juice. OJ. Hey, okay, this place is bougie. Um, it looks like a nice, looks like a nice menu. Pizza for breakfast. I've had enough pizza for breakfast to last a lifetime. I think maybe pancakes. I think maybe pancakes. I'm not getting fucking overnight oats in nine euro. Do his coffee in there, isn't it? Very nice. I can't have more coffee though. I'll actually do it. I think I need to stand injecting caffeine into me, man. <laughs> like, I had one of them, do you know the knock drinks? Mm. Not the one I put in the start, you know, like, yeah. I, like one o'clock in the morning. And like, I drank that and I fell asleep straight after. And it was 180 milligrams of caffeine in it. I still fell asleep. Cheers. Yes. Is there vodka in there? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Drink responsibly. <laughs> oh, that is absolutely unreal. Oh, fix the hair, Jay. Fix the hair. You're on camera. Uh, breakfast done and those the Jay verdict. Uh, very, very nice now. I got overnight oats, so I wouldn't really opt for oats now, um, to be quite honest with you. After me literally out, saying who pays nine quid, well, first of all, who goes to that like, really fancy, bougie breakfast place and then pays nine quid for overnight oats? Well, you see, this is my, this this is my excuse because I'm going to the gym, you know what I mean? So, therefore, I want to have pre gym fuel, and oats are the best fuel you can have. Now, I wouldn't fucking, I wouldn't pay 950 again for them, like, do you know what I mean? They were lovely and all, but. 950 for a few flabulins. 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 I, I got the pancakes. They were a little crispy around the edge, not gonna lie. They were kind of like American style, so I think they could have been fluffier. But they were lovely. I think the play came with five and I ate three. And was it still 15 So, minutes? and it was 15 euro. <laughs> But it was delicious. It was yeah, delicious. Like, it was it was nice. And the orange juice, uh, like now the, the orange juice, the orange juice was unreal. The orange juice was nearly worth fifteen quid in the town. Yeah, very very nice. Not gonna lie, orange juice was freshly absolutely top. Freshly squeezed. Um, so now Jay is gonna drop me up to Metro Cafe where I'm gonna meet my friend Jade. And then Jay is. What are you doing in town? What do you have to go to town for? I'm going to town to try and get myself a new tripod because I have one that I bought in a Spanish airport for ten euro. <laughs> One of the uh, Al Hops, anyone that knows Spain, the Al Hops are like basically Tiger in Spanish. Um, so I'm gonna get, try and get one of them. I don't know where I'm gonna get one. I don't really want to be spending 400 euro on a blade tripod either. And it's Sunday. And it's Sunday, it's Sunday. Like, do you know what I mean, I want to be going and chilling and happy so to go to the gym and all there that. is a strong chance that none of the camera shops are open on a Sunday. This just, is very true. Just so you're aware. Very true. So, I'm gonna be bollocks now. Um, I might be in town tomorrow, I can send you a few mm -hmm. things. Um, okay, off to Metro and Jay is 100% not getting a tripod because no. everywhere's closed. Like Definitely. any guaranteed. Look at this car. It's like one of them things I was GTA, remember that car? Oh bit? yeah. Oh, it's an old Lotus. Deadly. That's older than me, it's 1990. Jesus. That's old. That's old. Because I'm old. Damn. Damn. Still going strong though. Right. <laughs> So you think. Me and the car. <laughs> Just about. We're in the car. I'm going to Metro. Jay's going to get a tripod. Well, Jay has an hour to kill before. 
Camp Yeah, I'm definitely not going to go to Camp Centre. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm going to drop Damien off and I'm going to go home, probably go to the gym. And I have loads of, like, I have a ridiculous amount of content to edit. I have so much recorded and it's just a matter of finding it now and then editing it. So, it's going to be a very fun day, full of energy drinks and coffee. And the runs. And the runs, and the runs. Can't forget the runs. Can't, <laughs> can't forget the runs. <laughs> Hench. I actually need to get back on a health buzz. I want to get. I want to actually. I'm going away soon, so I want to get back on like a little bit of a health buzz and try and get not shredded. And I may or may not book the second week of, oh, yeah. of today's holiday. I think Damien is going to come. He should come. So okay. if this comes out beforehand, comment down below saying Damien should go to Lanzarote with us because it'll be class. We'll do a poll. We'll do a poll. We'll do a poll. You, you tell me if we should go to Lanzarote with Jay. Today though, your health is your wealth, do you know what I mean? You get your body right, you get your mind right, you get your finances right, and that's the equation. That I was told anyway, I haven't fucking seen that question. So, there you go, there's business advice from Jay, you owe him 50 grand. Thanks. Uh, right, anyways, this clip has gone on for like 10 minutes, talking, talking bollocks, looks 7 minutes and 40 seconds. Anyways, I'm going to Metro to meet my friend Jade, and then Jay is going home to edit videos. Adios everyone, have a great Sunday. This is my cameo done. So, coffee number two, done. I'm just heading up to Dean now to meet Natalie. She was at a Sweaty Betty event this morning, well, last night and this morning. Um, so, she doesn't live in Dublin, so anytime she comes to Dublin, we always try to carve out even a few minutes to just grab a little coffee or a bit of lunch together. So, heading there to meet her now. She should be finished at about half one, or should get there at about half one. And then, luckily, the weather has cleared up. I'm not going to jinx it, fingers crossed, and all that sort of jazz. So luckily, it's not raining anymore. And we can have a little coffee. I'm done with coffee for the day. I've had so much coffee. So we'll get like a Coke Zero or something. And then we'll probably just have a little wander through the park and a catch up on everything. And then she goes home and then I go home, get changed, because I'm going back out for drinks later on this evening. So, I'm just about here now, Parkour Street, where the Dean Hotel is. So, I'll just wait for Natalie, I'm about five minutes early. Shall be, shall be fine. <laughs> so, flip this up. so can this see me? They can see bottles. So for anybody who's watched the vlog before, you may recognise Natalie from previous episodes when we went to Kildare Village and I was wearing Crocs, which is which was blasphemy. Do you remember that? <laughs> I was wearing Christmas time, I think. So um, yeah, as you can tell, me and Natalie are still friends. She hasn't kicked me to the curb just yet. He hasn't kicked me to the curb yet. But uh, Natalie had like a lovely brunch with I'm sweaty Betty. Sweaty Betty, I'm gluten free and dairy free, and here he is with a pizza, killing me. I did say sorry because I did forget. You didn't mean it. And I did say sorry. <laughs> I, I actually didn't mean it. But I'm going to devour this pizza now. Um, but as you can tell, yeah, me and Natalie are still friends. We've not killed each other yet. <laughs> it's Sunday, so let's get dressed. So going into the city for a few drinks tonight. Trousers. Polo. For our timepiece, we go with the Mission to Mars Moon's Watch. For our scent, we go with Enchilad by Marc Antoine Borios. For our shoes, we go with a black tassel loafer. We'll add our jacket. And last but not least, we'll add our glasses from TBD Eyewear. And that's Sunday. Say hi, Daisy. So it is the next day. It is Monday. So last night, yesterday was a very hectic day. So to recap, uh, coffee and breakfast with Jay in the morning. Then I met my friend Jade for a catch up and a coffee. Then I met my friend Natalie. We didn't drink coffee. She had a brunch with Sweaty Betty. And then I had pizza uh, for lunch. And then I had a date night. I went on a first date with someone that I had known for years and years and years. Date went 
really, really well. Better than I could have hoped. So that's a positive because I don't really do many dates and I find it very difficult to date. So that was nice. And today is now Monday. We are going into Little Pig. So where I had lunch with Natalie yesterday, the pizza that you saw, I'm going to try make one for myself. So that should be interesting because my toxic trait is me thinking that I'm automatically good at things and there's a strong chance that I'm not automatically good at this and I'm going to absolutely butcher it. So that should be interesting to watch. And then once that's done, I have nothing for the rest of the day. I have a free day tomorrow as well. And then Wednesday is the Barbie premiere. I think I'm an event on Thursday. Me and Ethan are going to Emerald Park on Friday and then I have a dinner on Friday night and then it's the weekend and I have nothing planned for a weekend, I have a free weekend but uh, my sister's dog Daisy is having a nice little nap here on my arms. She's a very needy and affectionate dog so she loves napping up on her lap but anyways my friend Rose should be here in about 15 minutes to uh, pick me up um, and she's going to help me shoot the pizza content for a little pig because that's a brand that she looks after in terms of content and stuff so that's on the agenda today so without further ado I'll have to put Daisy into her little bed somewhere and then get ready to uh, bastardize some pizza so on we go whoop you're okay so it's very echoey in here this is where I was she's making her debut on the on the little vlog thing um, I was actually in Little Pig yesterday where I had pizza with Natalie, as I mentioned this morning's clip. Now we're gonna go downstairs and record a bit of content. I'm making pizza today, right? Yeah, you're making pizza and then you can make cocktails as well, little pig tails. Okay, nice. so we're gonna make pizza and cocktails. And if I'm not immediately good at this, I'm gonna be really pissed off. Because I've <laughs> never made pizza before in my life. And that is my toxic trait, thinking that I'm like really good at things straight off the bat. So if I'm not good at this, I will be pissed. Okay, so before we go butcher pizza, well, I butcher pizza and Rolls helps with the camera, we are gonna grab a bit of breakfast first. So, um, wait to see when I go into Metro now, all the guys are gonna be like, oh, nice to see you again. But I'm literally always in this spot. This is like my coffee breakfast spot while I'm in town. Um, so we're gonna go to Metro and grab a little bit of breakfast because you haven't eaten either, no? No, I'm starving. They do yeah. really nice pancakes there, so I'm excited. So, I'll probably get like fried eggs and sausages because, you know, hearty, good old food. So Irish. Sorry for the noise. Um, so I'll get sausages and fried eggs, pancakes for us, and then once we're done with that, then we'll go butcher pizza. I really, I'm gonna like try my best to do it. Like, I don't know how like spin the dough and throw it in there. Oh my god! So there is a strong chance that this lovely outfit will be absolutely covered in dough in the guts of an hour. <laughs> dough and flour. Yeah, but it'll be fine, it'll be fine. We'll, we'll make it work, we'll make it work. So, Rose got these delicious pancakes. More syrup. More syrup on them. Um, I got just like sausage, yeah, so. Rose keeps telling me that this is a child's breakfast. It's, I mean, it's sausages and eggs. I mean, it, you just can't go wrong with sausages and eggs, but apparently it's a child's breakfast. Um, but Rose's pancakes do look absolutely delicious. But you cannot be, you cannot be sausages and eggs. I'm telling you, you can't. It's unbeatable. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, just keep it rolling. It's okay, just keep it rolling. Okay, so I'm here in Little Pig and we're gonna make a Negroni. So, to make a Negroni, what we need is Campari. We need a sweet vermouth and we need a dry gin. So we have our mixing glass, we'll add ice to our mixing glass. We'll get 30 mils of Campari. We will add 30 mils of sweet vermouth. And then we'll have 30 mils of dry gin. Working in a busy, open public bar is uh, really just too. So let me give it a good mix. Good mix, good mix, good mix, good mix, good mix. Just so we don't get the ice.
Then we'll take an orange slice. Make sure we get a bit of the oil all in there. And then we can get an orange slice and garnish. And then once we've completed our Negroni, the last thing we have to do is taste it. Day is pretty much done. Um, just opened some PR postage uh, that was sent to my parents' house, like a new signet ring. I got a couple of watches from Earnshaw. Um, they send me watches regularly. Um, I got a United jersey sent from Manchester United themselves, which is absolutely mental. Um, what else? A new short from Informal. Um, so we're just sorting out my suit for the Barbie premiere on Wednesday. Um, doing a few little kind of finishing touches of um, accessories to go with the suit. The trousers did not fit at all. They were basically leggings. You could actually see my tattoos through the trousers, which was mental. So won't be wearing them. Um, I have an alternative. I'll wear my own black tuxedo trousers and just the um, the jacket and the shoes that I purchased to go with them. Uh, but it'll be fine. So tomorrow is, I'm pretty sure of nothing on tomorrow. It's a pretty normal, relaxing day. So there'll be lots of prep tomorrow in preparation for Wednesday's premiere. Wednesday will be a hectic day. I'm meeting up with the Dublin Watch Company on Wednesday morning to p pick up, but it's only alone. It's only alone. Don't get to keep it. Um, a Zenith El Primero, which we're going to put on a very special strap for the Barbie premiere, which I'm sure um, you can guess it's pink. Uh, so that'll be really, really fun. Um, and then on me Orla, Orla is coming to the premiere with me. So we'll get our outfits together and sorted. We'll get dressed. We'll head to the premiere and it should be fun. But for now, that is Monday done and dusted ahead of this very, very busy week. So uh, I'll catch you tomorrow. Well, Mush. I'm good. <laughs> what, what day is it today? Tuesday. Tuesday. So we're going to do field shop. Or what do, what, what do Americans call that when you go buy food in the, in the shop? Supermarket. And grocery shopping. And you go shop for groceries. Um, Prime aren't paying me for any advertisement, so we won't put that in the video. No free, no free promo. Um, unless Prime want to send loads of drinks to Ethan, then please do. <laughs> then um, Ethan hates going food shopping, so... No, I don't. You don't? Do you want to come? Oh, you do want to come now. Okay, so we're going to go food shop or grocery shop. And... Whatever you're able to call it. Whatever we call it. And I need to buy a couple of accessories. We have an idea for accessories to go with the Barbie outfit for the premiere tomorrow. So we have to try source those. What are you doing with the elastic? Okay, say goodbye for now. Bye! <laughs>
I just finished in the Corporate Jewelers. I picked up a couple of rings and they also lent me a watch, which I will show the vlog later. Uh, it's insane. Um, it's one of the staff's watches, so I do have to give it back. There's no chance I'm being allowed to keep this thing. But now I'm gonna meet the Dublin Watch Co. Um, because they are also giving me a lend of a watch. Um, and he's put that watch on a pink strap for tonight's premiere to go with my suit. So just heading to one of my favorite cafes, which is the Metro Cafe, which you would have saw me in earlier on in the vlog when I had breakfast with Rose. So heading to the Metro now to meet a man about a watch. It's Wednesday. We're going to the Barbie premiere, so let's get dressed. Trousers, socks. For our timepiece, we have a Zenith El Primero chronograph on a custom pink strap with our stack of rings. So you have this band, and you have our signet ring from Pinky Blinders. And then we were kindly gifted this from the Cut Price Jewelers and this beautiful onyx ring also from the Cut Price Jewelers. For our scent, we go with the Joe Malone Huntsman Collaboration Whiskey and Cedarwood. A distraction today. We'll add our jacket for our shoes. We go with these penny loafers from Walk London. We'll add a neckerchief. We will add a bag. And uh, if you notice closely, uh, Barbie has a few a few tattoos. And last but not least, we'll finish with our glasses from TBD Eyewear. And one more thing. And that's Wednesday. So, Barbie premiere, really, really good. Uh, the outfits and Orla got a lot of attention, which is, <laughs> which is good. Uh, Instagram lost its absolute shit over a bit of nail varnish, but we shall digress. Uh, yesterday we went to the Dingle Unplugged uh, event. I didn't bring the camera simply because it was still packed away in my case from leaving the hotel on Thursday morning. Yesterday morning it was still in my case and I hadn't unpacked my case when I got home and the camera was still packed away. So I literally just came home, had a quick little turn around before heading back into town and go to the Dingle Unplugged event, which was really, really cool, really, really intimate. It was in the Camden Studios. I'll insert a little clip from my Instagram story here. And then today is a jam-packed day. So I was meant to go to Emerald Park with Ethan, but unfortunately I have to cancel that little trip um, because I just have so much else on. And if I go to Emerald Park, because it takes so long, I won't get other things done. So right now I'm heading up to Swords to record a podcast with my good friend Natalie. Um, I'm not going to say what it's about, anything else like that. I'll wait till the pilot episode is out um, and then I'll share everything. But it should be a really fun one. It's a very different topic than anything that I've ever kind of spoke on before. Uh, so that should be really fun, something a bit different. And then I have to do an unboxing video for... A brand that is very 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 close to my heart but i'm not allowed to share that because there is an there is an embargo on what is in that box um for a few days so i'll unbox it and then send the footage off to the brand for them to approve it before i can post it and then i got my nails done at half three lots of people give me shit over how bad my cuticles are so i booked in to get a manicure at half three and then i have a dinner tonight at pig in town that's at eight o'clock so we do have a jam-packed day um, and here's hoping that it runs smoothly <laughs> <laughs>
absolutely perfect. There's no rush at all. Um, they have a table set aside for us. They know that we're coming in, so there's no pressure, no hassle. You take your time. Um, I think the rain has stopped here anyways, which is nice. But yeah, if you want to get a taxi in, that's, that's fine. It might save your hair and makeup if it does start to rain. Thank you.